I'm participating in Young Leaders Connect program for the second time. And Young Leaders Connect, the second program that we had in Nagaland, I think we had a tremendous experience of sharing our learnings and with all the young leaders coming from different parts of the northeastern state, we realize that there is a need to debate, discuss about the way forward for the whole region. And with that hope, and we, uh, we work together, this year again, this is the part three that, uh, that's happening at Guwahati, and we hope that whatever we discuss we'll carry on from there and we we look forward to new paths new kind of discussion and to bring in the main mainstream discourse about the challenges and issues being faced by northeastern as a whole thank you i think as in so far as the gap between mainstream media and the regional media so called regional media is concerned i'm i'm very clear that you know there is not much of gap but it's all about connecting with the right people at the right places because today if you talk of northeast you know biggest bottleneck is about providing feeds now that way if you look at you know for me the challenge is in kashmir or challenge in northeast is almost similar but why is it that kashmir gets more space in print or electronic media is something that we need to look at so if you honestly look at it perhaps it's more to do with the government of india's policy also because you know when we when we talk of north is which are the countries that's bordering us it's bhutan it's burma it's bangladesh it's china but when it comes to pakistan for whatever uh, uh, the legacy may be but indian mha or mea seems to be more focused there therefore giving a push to the mainstream media that you know they need to look at pakistan issues in kashmir so that's where i think it, it differs otherwise uh, it, in terms of technical uh, resources or in terms of human resources in terms of quality of journalism i don't see much of differences so so you know really honestly uh, i don't see it as a challenge of ours but rather i see this as a challenge coming from the government's uh, think tank